New at 5, more than 100 people came to Los Angeles to talk trash at City Hall today, specifically a new proposal that uh, could change who collects it and what the cost might be. Eyewitness News reporter Rudabe Shabazi has more. Right now, private waste haulers collect all waste and some recyclables from businesses and large multifamily residences like apartment buildings. At issue is whether the city should move to an exclusive franchise system where a single waste hauler is allowed to operate under a contract in a given area. Family businesses say if that happens, they won't survive. It's devastating to us because we will not be able to compete with the larger companies for one of these waste sheds. Every business is going to have to either pass that on to consumers or they're going to have to cut costs. And the way they cut costs is by jobs. Angelinos for a Clean Environment say hauler fees would go up 33 percent. But city officials say it's impossible to tell how much the city would generate from the change or how much would be passed on to the consumer. A lot being suggested in terms of rates uh, that they're going to go up astronomically, that uh, residents are going to be disproportionately impacted. Uh, and I don't necessarily know that that's true. Uh, rates in the current system right now vary drastically. But there were pleas from residential property owners today who say they will be impacted if they lose their right to choose their haulers. And they'll have to pass some of that on to their tenants. When I have an option to buy new linoleum, new carpet, new window trim, possibly uh, new appliances, I'm going to opt out of that not to do it because I can't afford it. Supporters of a franchise system say the city would actually ensure flat rates for everybody. You can't raise rates in an exclusive franchise system without the approval of the city. It's that simple. If the Board of Public Works approves it, it will go to the mayor's office and then city council for a full vote. At City Hall, Rudabe Shabazi, ABC7 Eyewitness News. And within the last few minutes, the L.A. Board of Public Works approved the proposal. It will now go to the City uh, Council with some amendments.